I personally love monkeys. And as you may have clicked on this video, the Bondo ape has the capability of killing a lion. Now, I've always been fascinated with monkeys in general. Ever since I was a little kid, I would always say they were my favorite animal. And in fact, sometimes I really wish we could live like monkeys. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Bondo apes, also known as Bilai apes, live in the Bilai Forest in the Democratic Republic of the Congo. In the chimp hierarchy, the strongest chimps help lead the group. Male chimps who run the pack are called alphas and are at the top. The alpha is above other males and gets to that spot through strength or kindness. Chimps who are stronger can try to intimidate their way into an alpha position, but creating bonds and doing favors for other chimps is also a way to gain status. Sounds very similar to us. So this video, uh, we're gonna be reacting to a short six to seven minute segment from the Joe Rogan podcast with, uh, I believe the guest was Forrest, Forrest, uh, Forrest Galante was his name, uh, I wrote it down. Uh, so they briefly go over Bondo Apes, I'm pretty sure. I haven't seen the segment yet, but I, I've seen it, uh, the title, um, and it mentioned Bondo Apes. Um, these creatures are heavily speculated, so they're not really too intensely studied. So I'm wondering how much detail they're going to get into. Uh, but regardless, let's just get straight into the reaction. <laughs> Uh, have you seen that photo or, or the footage rather of the jaguar that they found in uh, Arizona? Yeah, okay, so I think yeah that's really interesting too, right? Amazing. They're starting to make jaguars. their way up from Mexico. It's such a weird region that because here's this huge Sonoran desert that you think none of these tropical animals can make it across and for whatever reason southern Arizona gets jaguars and cotamundi and peccary and all these like tropical animals. Yeah. What what the hell? I don't know the answer. What the hell's going on that all these rainforest creatures are making it through this thousand mile stretch of desert and into southern Arizona? Yeah, that that Probably is kind bored. of strange. <laughs> Could be looking for a cool <laughs> cool places to visit. Yeah. Maybe, you know, maybe they. I mean, maybe it's just like a natural instinct to roam and expand your territory. There he is. Yeah. Look at God, that thing. That's amazing. That's an incredible animal. So beautiful. And it's huge. Huge. They're they're two hundred plus pounds. Right? Are like it's a big fucking aggressive cat. Mm -hmm. what, what's bigger? Jack or a Arizona. leopard? Leopard, right? Uh, leopard, yeah. Yeah, and that's mm -hmm. even bigger. Mm -hmm. But it's a, such a beautiful animal, too. And apparently they were all over Leopards North America. So Jaguar. Time. Yeah, like I that, that, that area, like Texas, I mean, During the Arizona. Pleistocene? Yeah. Oh, interesting. I didn't even yeah. know that. But um, when did they, I mean, they, they were pushed out of, I, I feel like, that might not be true, though. I feel like they were, they were more numerous in, like, Arizona and, like, the Southwest. Makes sense. I mean, you yeah. know, we had so much megafauna here back in the day. Um, there would have been a lot of prey for them. Now, because of the fact that you spend so much time in the wild and, you know, and that you have this uh, interest in these, uh, what would you call cryptozoology animals? Like well, I, I'm not a crypto guy, so just right. to be clear, and nothing against crypto guys, but I don't do Loch Ness or Bigfoot or anything. Right. I, I'm a true wildlife biologist, so I only focus on wildlife. Uh -huh. So not to interrupt you, but I'm just very, very structured so in the sense that I really like only look for animals that we we have an understanding of. Right. Yeah. Right. Well, yeah, well, the the Bigfoot one is um the the most compelling I love but also probably those, like, the most bullshit. Like, with Bigfoot, I think there's a mix uh, there. I think people believe that they've seen certain things. Um, stupid. You know, it's it's do I think that there could have been large primates like that, that we attribute to Bigfoot? Sure. Whether they're sure. still the here or not, sorry, whether people have ever seen them, I I'm so, like, not well-read on that. Isn't it interesting, though, that if there was one, it would probably be the most spectacular find ever? Absolutely. Like, but meanwhile, we have chimps and bonobos. Right. And, you know, we have all these things that are real. Well, because there's so much, like, lore and culture associated with it now. I personally think that if we are to find, like, a crazy, crazy creature, it's going to be something in the ocean. Like, something deep, 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 deep down. Because I feel like we've seen... A lot of stuff on land already but if we really go deep down in the ocean because i don't know the exact statistic on it but we haven't explored a lot of our deep oceans i think we've explored more outer space i believe 
don't quote me on it, but we've explored more area outer space than we have in our own oceans. And I feel like there are organisms that are really funky and crazy looking that live down in these like deep, deep trenches, I would say. So we got to keep exploring. But anyway, let's get back to the video. Yeah. Right. And not just like our Western culture, but like K things of big hairy creatures and like everything. Right. I mean, it would be like this mind blowing discovery. Have you ever went and looked for the Bondo ape? No, I know what it is, okay, but no, go. never gone and looked They're sure that's a real thing. Really? Yeah, they've got skulls and okay, hair so samples and photographs and video. Is, and for like, people who don't like know Joe what we're Rogan's talking about, it's a gigantic more, chimpanzee. Right. Like a right. six-foot-tall chimpanzee, which and is it, just fucking nuts. And it does walk erect, yeah. right? Yeah, sometimes, yeah. yeah. There's a camera trap photo. There's a guy named Dr. Carl... Uh, no, he's not a doctor. I think his name is Carl Harmon. Carl, Carl, Carl something Harmon. Harmon, is that? Amon. Amon? Carl Amon. And he's a, uh, was it a Swiss wildlife photographer? Anyway, he set up a bunch of camera traps, and he got one he of got them one. walking. Amazing. And it's, it's freaky. And there's some photos of okay, so um, these actually gentlemen that shot one uh, near so an airstrip. Huh. <laughs> and it's fucking huge. You yeah. don't know how big the, the, the men are. Right. You know, they might be small, and sure. it's in front of them. But it is, without a doubt, like one of the biggest chimpanzees you've ever seen it's in insane. life. And it's insane. Yeah. They have a crest on their head. Their skull has a crest like a gorilla. Huh. Yeah, it has like the the bone of the skull. That's what also it kind of fuses out. Yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you have a picture of that? I'd love to see it. I'm yeah. not, not familiar How with the anatomy these creatures of it. Are now yeah, it's, um, really it's really interesting because I think for the longest time they didn't think they were real. It's a part of that Michael Crichton book, Congo. Okay. There was, remember there was a really terrible movie? I, yeah, yeah, I, I know the book the size of that fucker. Yeah, that's insane. Yeah, that's so one of them. And that's, think. that doesn't look like forced perspective, you know what I mean? No. It looks like they're right in front of them. And that's one from the early 1900s, I believe, mm -hmm. where these guys uh, oh, shot okay. one, and um, they were like, what hey. is this? This is just giant chimp. Go d oh, see if you can find the one of the... There, yeah, right above is the is one that where it's walking right there, yeah. Oh, that's, that's the, the camera, camera trap. Wow. The, the thing wow. walking. And he's erect. Yeah, he's erect, and he's... You know, is he? These people it's that like he's got his one of his side, one of the sightings, like a, they saw one <laughs> like walk a by a truck, like crazy. walk across a road. They said it was the same height as the truck. That's insane. So they have like you know like How a big is that truck, Toyota then? Helix or something like <laughs> right. that, and yeah. it's literally the side, the height, like a six foot tall man, but a That's giant scary. chimp. And, and I mean, you know, to go back to the Bigfoot thing, you can totally see where we get that from, right? Well, for sure. You yeah. look at this huge primate that's the size of a human being. And your brain instantly goes, it's mythological. And I'm pretty sure that they didn't have right. photos of this thing until the 20th century, like the late 20th century. No kidding. Yeah. yeah. That's amazing. Yeah, it's a trip, man. This They nest on the ground like, um, like gorillas. Like a gorilla. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Wow. And uh, the locals have two different, name for, uh, two different names for chimps. They call them tree beaters and lion killers. Huh. And the tree beaters okay, are the so ones that are up in the trees, killer. the smaller chimps. Sure. And the, the lion killers are these big ones. That live on the ground. Yeah, and apparently there's some either video footage or there was some eyewitness account of one of them eating uh, a leopard. I would love no to way. So it was a dead leopard that they were eating, whether or not they killed it or they found it, but they were eating this fucking thing. Regardless, like to be... A primate at the top of the food chain eating a big cat. I mean, that's nuts. It's yeah. nuts. <laughs> would you ever think of going there and trying to find those things? Fuck yeah. I don't they're mean this to come off as great. I <laughs> yeah. um, think they're in a place called Bili, they took down Bili in the Congo. That's where they think they are. They have like, they isolated tools, a population just, like, of them there. Really? My mom just got back from the Congo and she still does like her own adventure stuff. And she was saying it's just like, she's been all over as well. She's like, it's mind blowing. Like there's so much remoteness and unstudied area that there could be all kinds of things. damn, man. To take down these type of creatures. But anyway, yeah, so that's the video. Uh, it was a short six, seven minute segment. It wasn't long. Um, but bongo apes, I mean, these, these creatures are absolutely amazing. I was always fascinated. Um, I mean, I've said it multiple times, but I was always fascinated with just monkeys in general. Um, I would love to really go out and travel. Uh, Obviously not in the U.S., but more go back to maybe Africa and see uh, if I can start interacting with animals like that. Uh, shout out to the real Tarzan. Uh, he's another YouTuber. 
wildlife YouTuber and he actually interacts with animals like that. Um, because what really always blows my mind is to see how intellectual they are um, and how they're very sentient like beings. They feel, um, they have emotional awareness. Um, and I would like to say they live very simple lives. I mean, as a human, you would say these things live very simple lives, but there's so much complexity to it. Um, I believe there's complexity in every single aspect of life. And I think that's the beauty behind it. Um, but yeah, I love seeing that. And hopefully I can dive more into bongo apes. And if you know any more facts or you see any links or anything about bongo apes, drop them down in the comment section below. I'll love to take a look at it. Um, but yeah, that's the video. So I'm going to keep trying to stay consistent with these videos, maybe once every week. Um, but till next time, I'm out. Uh, I kinda miss it. I was smoking on the weed to keep me tripping. I was abusing on your love to keep me living. Your love was confusing it. it had me throwing all types of plays. That ass was moving.